Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to Summoning Part 2. Uh, we're probably going to be summoning all the way up until Heroes Festival because I'm actually short quite a lot of Astro Gems. If I convert all this into... Wait, let me let me count. Uh, 9... Wait, wait, wait. 3... 6... It's like... It's like 1,900 Astro Gems here. And then if I add this over here, that's like... Wait for it. That's like 5,300. Wait, wait, I'm not that far away. I, I probably only have to do this for like two more days. And then I can go back to farming dragon sigils. But, you know, I didn't farm any dragon sigils this week. I, I, uh, I was only farming golems for pretty much the whole entire week. But I did manage to get a lot of eggs because I've been mostly farming in golems B10. Um, so, I actually had some questions. Some people asked me yesterday about... Um, do you guys hear birds chirp chirping? I, I actually hear birds chirping. Um, <laughs> some people asked me yesterday about what Heroes Festival was, like some new players that just started the game. Heroes Festival, let me explain really quickly, is just, it's an event that happens twice a month. Um, it lasts for two days, and if you summon with your Astro Gems during that event, you get an increased chance for Nat 5s. I don't really think it has an increased chance, like it doesn't feel like the chances are increased at all. If it is increased, it may, may be very, very slightly increased. Um, but the other thing is, if you summon a nat 5 during that event time, then it, it gives you this egg that gets you a guaranteed nat 5. So it's basically like a 2 for 1 deal if you summon a nat 5 during that time. Um, so, yeah, make, make sure to save all your Astro Gems and only summon during Heroes Festival. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, now, what was I going to talk about? Yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. We're we're gonna start summoning now. We're gonna we're just gonna pop these pop these eggs. I got 21 eggs, and I also happened to get two light dark eggs. One was from the bingo yesterday, and one was from um, the login reward. Yes, the login reward. So we're gonna pop these, and, we're, and then we're gonna pop the light dark eggs, and hopefully, hopefully we get something nice. I'm probably going to release them all the way until the, the next month, or for the rest of this week. I'm actually pretty excited. All I need to do is farm... All I really need to do is farm about... About 600 more Astro Gems. Or not 600, 800 more Astro Gems. And then I'll, I, I should be safe for Heroes Festival. I want to I wanna save for at least um, enough to do 10 pulls. To make sure I I do actually get a nat 5 during Heroes Fest so I can get another one for free. Man, this mouse is so loud compared to my usual mouse. This is my laptop mouse. Although I could actually just plug in my usual mouse into my laptop. You know, I'm, I'm actually really dumb if you guys didn't hear this yet. Um, like why I don't have my PC right now. I, I forgot to bring my power cord, <laughs> like the one that plugs into your power supply, that, that, that cord. I left it in Taiwan, it's so, so dumb. Um, which is why I'm on my laptop right now. But I ordered one online, and it says like two days delivery, but I didn't know they had like this, a three day processing, which, which is going to take like five days, and I think they only just finished processing yesterday or today. So like they're either going to deliver it today or tomorrow, which is going to suck. I don't even know if it's going to be here tomorrow. Come on. Give me a lightning. Give me a four star at least. Give me something. Sad, man. I'm sad. You know, when you get to the point where you're like, you don't really do the fusions anymore, although I probably should, but I just can't afford to because I have like so many things to work on. Like if I, if I were to do the fusion, that's actually quite a lot of gold lost just from doing that. And my, my, it's mostly because my inventory is like so full. I have, I have no room. I would like to buy more inventory space if I could.
If only the, the crystal thing was was actually not a scam. You know, you can upgrade your, your astrogen, like, your, it's supposedly, you're supposed to be able to upgrade your astroship with crystals, like a thousand crystals, and then supposedly give, supposed to give you more storage room, but it's an actual scam. If you buy it, it just says coming soon. So you basically just wasted a, um, wasted a thousand crystals. Alright, light dark egg time. Sad man, sad. Well, I got two wolves, which is, I mean, I can use them for fusion, so I guess I'll save them. Man, that was that was so sad. Uh, all right, let's 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 take a look at. Damn, I, I didn't get I didn't get a single good anything. I didn't get a single good anything today. Um, Alright, we're probably going to have to feed them all all to the grinder. But I think the wolves are actually pretty good, because the wolves are the hardest thing out of all the fusion material to get. I do eventually want to, even if I don't get the light Shiva, I do want to get like a light Anu. Um, a light Anu is actually pretty good. He has a, I mean, if you can get him, if you can get a variant Anu, I, I think I have a lot of variant Anus. Yeah, I have, I have quite a few, few variant Anus. Um, you can get crit lead, and then he has like 100% armor break, so I think that actually might be pretty good. And then he has thirst, so you can actually use him in a dungeon team, it's actually pretty good. I was thinking he might actually be pretty good for Colossus, if you can if you can get him. So I've been saving all my all my wolves, um, I actually fuse these with Mihos, but I'm going to start saving all my wolves, because they're, they're, they're the actual really hard materials to, like fusion materials to get, and then... Um, yeah, and then eventually I'll, I'll, I'll make like a light Anu or something like that. Or if I'm, if I'm really feeling it, I can make a, you know, light Shiva as well. I, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think, I think all, all the way up until Heroes Fest, I'm just going to be farming. Um, I, I'm pretty sure after I turn, turn all this, oh shit, I just lost a hundred Astro Gems doing that, those summons. Wait, let's, let's, let's release them for science. Maybe I'll get something back. Ooh, I got 10 astrogens from that. That was that was pretty good. Ooh, 10k, 10k, right, right there. Stupid fruits. I wish I could sell my fruits. All right, another 10k. I think we're getting close. Ooh, 30k. Okay, okay. Right, not, not, not. Not that good. Hmm, another, another 10 astrogems. Ooh, 30 astrogems. Okay, okay, we're... We're getting there, we're getting there. Man, you actually get quite a lot of stuff back from just releasing. I, I normally never release my, my astromons. I usually use them for, like, rebirth. But this isn't too bad. I normally just feed them into rebirth to get the the rebirth monsters, like to get more of them, and then I, I make them into like evil two variants. So I can feed them into um Okay, that's 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 all my three stars. Okay. Um I normally just feed them into like what I usually do with my three stars is I, I use them for rebirth, and if I can get like the light dark versions of these monsters, they're actually nat fours. And then during the rebirth festival, which is like the second part of Heroes Fest, uh, or the other part of Heroes Fest, you can rebirth for uh, you have to use like four star monsters to do rebirths. And then um, if you feed variants into it, it can actually have a chance to give you a variant version of whatever monster is on the on the rebirth festival. I think it's going to be the Verdes again for this this Heroes Fest. Um, wait, is the light dark pack out yet? No, the light dark pack out is not... Wait, the light dark pack is not out yet? It's already the 27th. Maybe they're not going to have one this month. Uh, usually they have this thing that happens like twice a month, or maybe it's tomorrow. Um, they basically give you, let you buy this pack that costs 400 astrogems, 
And if you buy the pack 15 times, which is a total of 6,000 astrogens, it gives you a light dark, um, a light or dark version of a monster. And then you can use the, it also gives you this like light and dark gleam. And then you can fuse the light and dark monster with the gleam to like to transform the light version into the dark monster or the dark version into the light mo light version. Um, but um, I don't think it's out. I was I was gonna predict that it was gonna be the wild thing this this month. And I think for Rebirth Fest, they're probably going to put back the Verdes again. So it's, it's these monsters. Uh, the Verdes actually have a really good leader skill. They have a they have an attack lead. So if you can get them, get them as a variant, this is actually a really, really good leader skill to have. So that's why I've been saving a lot of, um, you know, whatever Rebirth monsters. I've been turning them into Evil 2 variants in order to to make sure I can, I can get variant versions of whatever Rebirth monsters there are. So I've been turning. I've been. This this is extremely expensive. Like I just to to do this is 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 costing me a lot of gold. But I, I do it anyways, just so I can um, I can have a chance to get some variant versions of those. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So um, not not too lucky today. But we'll 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 be back again with some more summonings. Um, I'm I'm pro I can probably go back to farming Slumbering City now after I I turn all this this back into astrogens. And then I should be able to profit a little bit from Slumbering City all the way up until, um, all the way up until Saturday or Friday, which is the, the uh, the time for, for Heroes Fest. Yeah, and then I'll I'll do some mass summoning then, and hopefully get some Nat fives. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.